Hello, the domestic ginger here. Um, I'm not doing a cooking video that I usually do. I'm going to do all kinds of like, I don't know, little tricks here and there. Um, so anyway, my boyfriend, his, um, his work pants, they're all very heavy. I don't like drying them because they take forever and it saves a little bit of money by hanging them. Uh, my washer and dryer is out in the garage. So, um, I ended up hanging line. Don't mind the mess. <laughs> I ended up hanging line up on these shelves. Oops. Going all the way down there. Um, not that I'm probably ever going to be able to use that much at once, but, you know, it helps. Okay, um... So those little wooden, I don't know what they are, close, close pins, these things right here, they don't really hold very well, especially when they're like super heavy pants. So what I do is I use hangers um, to dry them. I can take one like this. And what I do is, uh, okay, I put it through the belt loop, it's hard to do with one hand. Okay, so this is what I did, I just put it through there. Being short kind of sucks. Okay. There. And then you have the other hangers that don't have like the little indentations for, um, I guess, like spaghetti strap, tank tops, stuff like that. These little hooks. Um, these little hooks are just as good. And I'll show you how to put those on. Okay, you just take the belt loops and hang them by the little hooks. Um, be careful and be very gentle because I actually just broke one. Whoops. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> the garage in here is actually really hot. I live in the south, so it's like 100 here almost every day, almost all summer. Um, so if I come out here in like hour and a half, they'll probably be pretty dry. But anyway, those are, um, two different hangers and two different type of ways to hang your clothes so you can keep them, well, hang jeans. That way you're not wasting a whole bunch of money on a dryer. Alright, well, I hope this tip helps somebody. Um, I'm the Domestic Ginger, and have a good one.